my beloved dub dub motherfuckers what is going on everyone and design it is everyone's favorite jack of all trades with the foul mouth competent urban and welcome back to another awesome fucking video guys i greatly do appreciate it and before i do dive into this bitch i want to give a big chef special shout out to all of you guys my viewers and my subscribers for sticking around watching this shit the reason why i fucking do it's for all you guys so yeah anyway it's going to be a discussion video we're going to be doing about the lovely RMS Titanic. And as you can see, have my amazing one, the 400 scale model by Academy Models. And um, out of all the different models of the ship that's been built, most of them are all wrong. And I can explain to you why. It would be this area right there. The propellers. And some of you are probably wondering, what the hell does the propellers got to do with? What the hell did the propellers got to do with anything? Well, a lot. And I'll explain why. Now, this is a picture that's in a book on the Titanic. And this is being said as the propellers of the Titanic. But this is not the propellers of the Titanic. These are actually the propellers of the Olympic. And I will explain why here in a moment. Because when this picture was taken, there was another picture that was taken very similar to it. If I find it, right here. Now this is Olympic. See? That is Olympic. Now, the reason why I'm fucking saying this because information in recent years and I think I might have fucking talked about it too information in recent fucking years has came up about this subject and from what we know this is the Titanic and that is her central propeller and it says right here this rendering shows a Harlan and Wolf worker standing beside Titanic with her three-bladed center prop in place. Although no photographs exist of Titanic's central prop installed aboard ship, all existing documentation proves that she was to receive one that had three blades. So this is the the mystery of Titanic's central propeller. <coughs> It has long been assumed that each of the Olympic class ship central propellers were made from a single four bladed casting. This assumption was repeated in every Titanic book and shown in every Titanic model, physical or digital, including those shown in films and documentaries, including my own. Photographs of Olympic and Britannic propellers show this configuration and match the documentation available on their design. Furthermore, photos of Olympic and Britannic propellers are frequently miscaptioned as being of Titanic. Like was in his book. Why would Titanic have been any different? Well, I don't fucking know. Why would she? No one ever really seems to have asked. Do we know for certain what Titanic's propeller configuration was? Up to now, no photographs have surfaced of Titanic's propellers and sold on the ship. All photographs claimed to be such are actually of her sisters. In 2007, maritime historian Mark Shernside became aware of a notebook from Harlan and Wolf, which recorded the engineering particulars of each ship that they completed, including the propelling machinery and specifications. It is the only contemporary primary source that recorded Titanic Central propeller specifications alongside those for Olympic. Astonishingly, it recorded that Titanic was fitted with a three-bladed central propeller rather than the consistently assumed four-bladed design. The document showed yard number 400 Olympic wing propellers and the central propeller four blades. Yard number 401 Titanic, your wing propellers, central propeller, three fucking blades. Okay, now this is fucking game changing, guys. 
<clears throat> the recorded modification to Olympics propellers in late 1911 should not be surprising since there was a lot of study going on into the best designs for large high-speed liner propellers. Lusitania and Moratini went through numerous different propeller designs in their early years, so frequently that they are difficult to keep track of. Oh boy, they were too. For example, buried deep in a July 30th, 1908 Kennard memo, reference was made to the fact that the Moratini had fractured her stern bracket. One of the two spare three-blade propellers had been fitted to the starboard wing, after which the ship had successfully made three voyages running on just three props. Meanwhile, Lusitania had also already received new propellers. This sort of experimentation within months of both Cunarder's entry into service shows that such alterations were made frequently, and documentation on the matter can be very hard to find. All right. A good comparison might be to car tires. The vehicle and engine itself never really changed, but performance, road grip, comfort, and ride noise are all greatly affected by the quality and design of the tires. Ships' propellers of the air were changed nearly as frequently, and in some cases even more often than vehicle tires are today. Indeed, we really should have been looking for such alterations earlier. Olympic sported a three-bladed central prop after a 1912-1913 refit. Although she later received, reverted to a four-bladed prop, there can be no question that she bore Titanic's configuration for a time. Britannic was also given a four-bladed central prop. There were further clues. Bruce Ismay had testified at the American Inquiry that Titanic was supposed to be slightly faster than Olympic. Finance, Commerce, and Shipping had also noted on 11th April 1912 that there was no doubt that improvements had been made to Titanic's propellers over Olympic's original design. Okay. In January 2020, another primary source document came to light. First referenced by Jean, Jean Clavez. It was a notebook written by Stephen Piggott who worked for several months in the turbine department of John Brown and Company, who constructed the central turbines for Olympic and Titanic. His notebook offered two proposed propeller designs for Olympic and Titanic central shafts, the ones connected to the turbine he was helping to create. One design for a four-blade central propeller was the same diameter and the same surface area as that of Olympic was given in 1911 only its pitch varied slightly from the final design. The second proposed design was for a three-bladed propeller of the same diameter, surface area, and number of blades, namely three as that recorded in Harlem Wolf's own notebook on Titanic. Again, the only variation came in the pitch of the blades, something that we know that Harlem Wolf was experimenting with at the time. So instead of finding primary source evidence to the contrary, more documentation is coming to light proving that assumptions about Titanic's central prop having four blades is incorrect. The discovery that Titanic had a three-bladed central prop touched off a firestorm of controversy. Emotional and often very nasty arguments based on now disproven assumptions were leveled at Shernside's unassailable research. Since Titanic's central propeller is buried deep into the seabed, it cannot be examined. No doubt some of the more emotional on the matter will not believe it until the actual prop is recovered from the wreck and placed at their doorstep, the front doorstep. However, actual primary documentation on the subject cannot be clear. Titanic sported a three-bladed central prop or propeller in holy fuck. This is a fucking game changer, guys. Titanic had a three-bladed central prop. That is fucking amazing, guys. Absolutely incredible. So that means my model of Titanic is absolutely fucking incorrect. Along with everybody else's fucking model of the Titanic is incorrect. All because of that little detail right there. Now I wish I knew where I could get a 1400 scale three bladed propeller of this size. I could pull that one off and pop that one, another one in place. But I'm thinking the Trumpeter 1200 scale kit 
in the aftermarket you can buy for it does have a three bladed central prop so you can fix that problem on the 1 200 scale now the 1 400 scale and the 1 350 scale and other smaller fucking models I don't know but yeah all in all Titanic central propeller was not four bladed like her sister Olympic but it was three bladed but I'm thinking fucking one of these days they should take something down to the wreck kind of like what they did when they sonared the sides of the ship that were buried in the mud you know when I sonar the sides of the ship and it was buried in the fucking mud and shit and look at the damage which really I don't know maybe not be fucking iceberg damage I don't fucking know and see if they can pick out the propeller and they could see clearly if that propeller had four blades or three but from all the documentation from the shipyard and the turbine engine builders and shit Titanic's propeller is fucking three bladed so Pretty fucking awesome shit, guys. So, what do you think? What do you guys think about Titanic actually having a three-blade central propeller? I think it's kind of unique. It's another little thing that made Titanic unique over her sister Olympic. So, anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed this discussion video about the origins and the mystery behind Titanic's central propeller being three-blade instead of four-bladed. And if you have any fucking questions or comments about any of the shit I talk about, leave a fucking comment in the section below. I'll get back with you. If you're new to the channel, like the shit I fucking do, I am the jack of all trades with a foul mouth. I do a little bit of everything. You know, hit that fucking subscribe button, hit the damn notification bell. Never miss a video from yours truly ever again. Become a member of the Commoners crew. Let's get to 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year. It'd be fucking awesome. So, you. Yeah. And until next time, this is Commodore Urban. Saying a smooth seas and clear skies. Happy sailing with you. God bless you all. Take care. Stay safe. Be yourselves. Jesus and the good Lord love y'all very much. And I'll catch you on a warm trade wind where hell anyone knows. And let's go Brandon. Fuck Joe Biden. And fuck Kamala Harris too. She's a bitch. She sucks. And um, Trump 2024 baby. Yeah.